Welcome back. In this Python tutorial, we're going to go over how to create ridgeline plots with the JoyPy package. Before we get started, a quick definition. Ridgeline plots are partially overlapping line plots or density plots that create the impression of a mountain range. They can be useful for visualizing comparisons and changes in distributions. Ridgeline plots are also known as joy plots. To create the ridgeline plots, we're going to use JoyPy. If you would like more information on JoyPy, you can go to the Python package index and do a search for JoyPy. There you will find install instructions and more information. We've also gone ahead and imported pandas, numpy, matplotlib.pyplot as plt, and the Vega datasets. To create a ridgeline plot, we're going to reference joypy.joyplot. And to see the arguments for the ridgeline plot, and other information, you can put this code here inside of a Jupyter Notebook cell and run it. And here we can see the arguments and some more information and the argument or parameter descriptions. Okay, for our first example, we're going to use the Iris dataset from the Vega datasets. And it looks like this. One way you can visualize the distributions for the iris dataset is to use the iris data frame dot plot dot KDE for kernel density estimate. Let's run it. And you can see here we have our plot. The ridgeline plot is similar to this, however, it's visualized in a different way. And it looks like this. And you can see that the distributions are stacked vertically. And this visualization is probably a little bit easier to understand than this visualization, especially if you have a whole bunch of lines or distributions. Okay, so let's go over how we created this ridgeline plot. We started out and we used the matplotlib figure plot syntax, where we create our figure and our plot. Then we reference our joypy package dot joyplot. Then inside the round brackets, we assign the iris data frame to the data argument. Here we've gone ahead and created a title for the plot, and here we've gone ahead and set the size. Let's run it. And you can see we get our ridgeline plot for the iris dataset with the distributions for the petal length, petal width, sepal length, and sepal width. Here we have another example using the iris dataset. And in this case, we've just gone ahead and referenced joypy.joyplot. We assign the iris to the data, and notice in this example we can see each individual species along with the petal length, petal width, sepal length, and sepal width. And for the species, you can see we have the Setosa, the Versicolor, and the Virginica. Next, in this example, we're going to use the CARS dataset from the Vega datasets. And we just want to use the miles per gallon and the origin. And here's a preview of the data frame. Once again, we've gone ahead and referenced joypy.joyplot. We've assigned the cars to the data and the origin to the by argument. And we've gone ahead and included the legend. Let's run it. And here we have our ridgeline plot that shows the distributions for the miles per gallon for the cars by origin country. And what you'll notice from this data is that the cars from the US tend to get lower miles per gallon. The cars from Japan tend to get higher miles per gallon. However, you'll also notice that the cars from Europe have a few cars that get really high miles per gallon. And you notice that here. Okay, let's go over one more example. In this example, we're going to use the Seattle weather dataset from the Vega datasets. And using the date column here, we're going to extract the month number and the month label and add those to the data frame using this code here. And you can see those columns have been added here and here. So what we want to do here is we want to visualize the distributions for the temperature max and the temperature min by month. We've gone ahead and created our figure and our plot. We use joypy.joyplot. We assign the weather to the data, 
for the by argument, we're going to use the month number here. And since we want to see the distributions for the maximum and minimum temperatures, we're going to assign those to the column argument. For the labels, we're going to assign the month labels, January through December, here. And you can see those labels on the plot here. If you don't assign those labels, you'll just get the number for the month. So let's show you an example of that. Okay, so you can see the numbers. For the temperature maximum and minimum, we want to assign colors of red and blue, so we have assigned that to the color argument. We're going to include the legend, and we want a transparency or alpha value of 0 0.5. Here we have added a title to the plot. We've set our plot size, and here we've added an x-axis label. And you can see we get our ridgeline plot for the Seattle temperatures that shows the temperature maximum and minimum distributions by month. That's all we have for this tutorial. We will be doing many more Python tutorials in the near future. Join us for those and we'll see you next time.